You know what that sound is? That's the sound of a little review video. Today, we are gonna check out uh, Voice Caddy SC4. Around $500, what can you get for that? Is it useful when you come out here to the range? Let's answer those kind of questions. Let's get into it. All right, so SC4, we got this little device. I had the, the older versions of this, those, those the SC300. Then there was another one before that. Those are pretty good. Turn it on. Cool thing about this is it has a screen on here. It might be hard to see in the sun, but it's really easy to see in, in real life here. But So you can use this with your phone or without. So I've had this the last three weeks now, and what I have enjoyed most about this is I've just come out to the range a handful of times and didn't, I just had like 20 minutes, 15 minutes, and so I just literally, you take it out, throw it down behind you, start hitting shots, and it'll give you yardages. So we've got carry yardage, launch direction, swing speed, ball speed, smash factor, launch angle, and apex, and we'll go through each of these and kind of see how those stack up. Today, I threw the Rapsodo down behind us as well, so we can just kind of double check numbers, see if they're similar or not. And we also, we did a video where we tested those out. The golf scientists aren't here today, unfortunately, but eh, maybe next time. Okay, so we're gonna set this down about six feet behind. I got the Rapsodo here too. Throw that here, make sure we're not in the Rapsodo shot. No, we're good. So this kind of levels it out and also gives you alignment. So the one thing is you gotta make sure your alignment is good on this. The Rapsodo has that nice feature where it shows us on the screen kind of how to align. This does not have a camera in it. So you gotta be pretty precise if you wanna know if you're offline or not. There we go. Literally with this voice caddy, you can be set up and going in like 20 seconds. It has this remote so I can plug in what iron. Let's go to a six iron and done. So it's, it's literally like within seconds, you can just be hitting and getting feedback. Let's get going with the phone then. Let's hook this up um, and I'll show you the app. So they have the My Swing Caddy app. Uh, I have an account already and it kind of stores all your info. To connect it, you literally, there's a Bluetooth button. It shows up, you tap it and it's connected. The other thing I learned is when I did that wedge session the other day, um, it, like this, it says get data. So it had all those shots saved on the voice caddy and then loaded them into the app for later to review. So I thought that was pretty slick. But let's throw this down here and do a little practice. Let's see this. And I've got the Rapsodo here as well. I've got the nine iron set up. We got this. I think we're about the right distance apart. We got them all aligned properly. Let's hit some shots and see what kind of feedback we get. Aiming at the white flag. What do we have here? We got 166 on the voice caddy. We've got 164 on the Rapsodo, 165 on the Rapsodo. Club head speed at 89 on this. What's club head speed over here? 82, that's interesting. And then launch direction is spot on 0.2 here. All right, let's hit some more shots. So distance was spot on carry with both of these. Let's hit another one. Ooh. That is a bit of a weak slice. <laughs> 162. And okay, so it's showing me launch direction. We're seeing that go. Take a look. Take a look at this with me over here. So we see 162, and you can see that the launch direction was going to the right there with the 2.6. That that away. There's driving range mode, so you can see that. Which is kind of nice. You're starting to see your dispersion and whatnot. Um, Launch direction, smash, method, apex, spin. Has all those in there. Lots of feedback with the voice caddy on this. And then you can throw it in video mode and use your phone as, as the camera as well. So you got that option. What's interesting about that last shot is the Rapsodo picked up 155. This one went 162. I would say it definitely probably went 155 or less. Just I didn't hit it great and it went right. So. <laughs> Uh, 164 over here, 160 over here. I would say it's probably 160. Maybe we're a little strong in the voice caddy, just based on perceptions. I think one of the best uses of launch monitors is wedge practice, honestly, because it's something that you need distance feedback with that you just can't get from a range. I mean, the flags are all over the place. So I think you need this kind of feedback if you're doing this. So on the voice caddy, all we gotta do is get our handy little remote, go wedge, 
and then select lab wedge 60 degrees. Good to go. My goal is if I want to hit a nine o'clock wedge shot with my 60, I would like that to go, I think it goes 70 yards, maybe 75. Let's see where we're at. That was very high. So I'm gonna guess 72, 72. 67 on the voice caddy. Raps out of saying 69. Does it get that that was really high? Launch angle 43, very high. Yes, it did pick that up. That one's a bit farther. That was nicely struck. 85, 87. Nice. You'll have to see that the yardages are similar. The data is somewhat similar and I feel pretty confident in that. Obviously, I think both of these tools will be helpful for you. Are there some differences in them? Yes, I mean, we saw some shots which were spot on, others which were five yard difference. Um, so just something to be aware of, but generally, do I think they're tracking? Yes, I, I do believe they're pretty accurate. When we did some like measuring testing, I know it's kind of a joke in the video, but it was what we were doing. I think they're pretty accurate on the wedges. Let's look at driver. Let's see what we think about some of the data that we can get from a driver. Use our remote, we're gonna go driver there. There we go. One wood, 10 and a half degrees. That's what we got. Let's see some numbers. Ooh, hook. Watch out. All right, 294 carry. That cannot be right. 110 club head speed, 162 ball speed, 1.47 smash factor, 294, and it's saying it's going right. Okay, I don't think the voice caddy picked that one up accurately. I always get nervous when doing reviews like this because I want to make sure I have everything like set up right. You know, you want to have the right distance. You don't want to screw anything up. So I think we're getting close, but. Okay, 71.8, 71. That was a chunk. Getting that wrong. That was well struck, high into the right. 296 again, saying 110 club head speed, 162 ball speed. I don't think that math makes sense though. And it's saying the launch direction is going left on that one. Maybe I got something set up wrong in the voice caddy here. If you have any ideas, shout it out. But I'm uh, concerned on the driver distances. It struck pretty well, a little to the right. It's saying 297, 111 club at speed, 163 ball speed. Those numbers are right. Like, that is accurate. This is saying 114 club head speed. It's a little bit faster in the Rapsodo. Um, those I feel like are in the ballpark. The ball, yeah, but that the carry number is not making sense. Not making sense. Something to look into. I did just update the firmware on both of these. Um, so they are up to date. So those are kind of gamer speeds. One of the things that I like to do, I think if you're hitting out here is to try to max out. I think that's a good practice of, hey, can I get my ball speed up? Can I get my club head speed up? So let's go for max club head speed here. I don't care about ball speed, so contact doesn't matter, but. Let's kind of get going with the, let's get going with the, the club at speed. A little faster. What do we got? Whoa, 116 club at speed over there. 118 over here. That was faster. <laughs> That's what we need, right? Feedback. If I was just here, uh, just here hanging out by myself, I'd have no idea if that was faster or not. Let's do another one. Can we go faster? 116, 118. Whoa, contact is bad. <laughs> 115, 119. Club head speed numbers. One more, fast one, fastest yet. Here we go, fastest yet. I hurt my, did I hit my neck on that one? 119. 114, 115, um, okay. All right, that's swinging faster. The other kind of thing I think it's good to do is 
sometimes I'll come out here and have ball speed goals. So let's say like, you know, on this it's saying 165 is that last ball speed. Can I get a ball speed to, to 168, right? Like that means I not only have to swing fast, but then I have to hit it solidly, which is ultimate, the ultimate challenge. So 168, can we get that there? That's solid. Sixty-five again. I'm the voice caddy. So our rep Soto saying. Well, that's really interesting. Ball speed numbers are super close on both of these devices, but the rest of the stuff is not. That was pretty good. One one seven one. One seven one. Good lord. That was good. Okay, goal accomplished. <laughs> Turn the camera off, Kyle. We've 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 finished the video. All right, you want to, here's what I here's what I my thought was. You ready for this? Lift, lift up the heel on the on the lead foot. Lift that up, and then just try to get the hands like as far as possible. That's all it takes, folks. Just swing tip for the day for you. All right. So that's how we might train that. What did we learn about the driver on the voice caddy? I feel like it's the yardage is wrong. I, I just, I don't think it's that, it doesn't go that long. I think the clevet speed and ball speed is accurate. I think those numbers are good. A little bit confused on that. We'll have to reach out to those folks and see if they have any, have any ideas there. But the wedge was good. The iron seemed pretty, pretty close, pretty good. Happy on that. All right, so that's kind of like our practical range session, right? I'd say that probably 70% of the use is something like this. Hey, I'm gonna practice let's use this and try to get better. And I think that we found definitely useful for wedges, useful for irons. The ball speed's accurate on driver, so you, you definitely can train things like speed, which I think I personally would try to do with the driver, is like, what can you get those ball speed numbers to? Uh, the other thing that we haven't talked about with the voice caddy is it does do simulation. You can plug this in to, it has like E6 Connect, where you can play on other apps and stuff like that. It also has you know, those kind of features if you wanna do that. I haven't done that yet, but we'll do that. How about that? Um, which is pretty crazy. $500, you can do a whole simulator thing with this. What do, what do we think about this? Very useful for practice. I like that you can throw it down and just start hitting. You don't have to hook it up to your phone. You can leave it in the car or whatever and just get some feedback. Is it like 100% dead accurate? No, I don't think so, but it's, it's also pretty inexpensive and pretty accurate. Like, it's not gonna be exact, but enough feedback to get you moving in the direction that you need to go, I think. So, I would recommend this if you're looking for something that's dead simple and just quick and easy without a, like, no tech kind of headache. So I think this is a great solution for that. And you, then you plug it into the app and you got plenty of data. As, as well if you want to look into those kinds of things. So that's the, the quick synopsis for you, Voice Caddy SC4. I'm curious, if you're grabbing this one, are you grabbing Rapsodo? Are you waiting for something else? Are you just gonna spend more to get something more accurate? What are you, what are you trying to do? Let's, let's hear those comments. Let's hear them, you know? Don't just write them, say them. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs>